are going to be continuing on building this React app that I built, started building a few videos ago, and I'm going to build something really cool into it, which is integrating an API that essentially tells me what to do. But before we do any coding, you know what comes first, which is coffee. So let's go get coffee. Got the coffee check, which is spilled everywhere, of course. And I also got a smoothie because can't live off of coffee, despite what many of us programmers believe. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm sitting down today and going to be building onto the existing React app. Uh, I'll link the GitHub down below, but before we get into it, I wanna to talk to you about AppSumo. I have been using AppSumo for quite a while now for both personal and business related projects. AppSumo is the leading digital marketplace for entrepreneurs. They have tools that can really help automate all your busy work so you can focus on the important things. From different business tools to web development tools, they have everything. I love finding deals on tools to help me be more productive and also help with my coding process. The most recent one I actually got was called Rocket Scrap, which is really interesting. It's an API that scrapes HTML and JSON from any page in a single API request, which is, as I'm sure you can imagine, very useful. They handle many proxies, browsers, and geolocations, so you can just focus on the data collection. Tools on AppSumo are game changers for businesses. I've saved time and money thanks to AppSumo, so I was really excited to share it with you. Definitely go check them out. I've linked them down in the bio. This is my go-to marketplace for anything when it comes to both personal projects, business projects, and if anyone asks me what tools to use when they are building a web development project, I always suggest to go check out AppSumo. I'm a huge believer of quality over quantity, and I think that should be taken into consideration for your work and your projects too. And what I mean by that is using tools that will help take care of the mundane tasks or things that you don't really have any interest in so you can put your focus and your productivity to things you actually care about. Go check them out, link is in the description. Okay, I feel like the best thing to do is just jump into code, so let's get coding. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just show you where we're currently at with our project. So let's just start it up here, npm start. And as you can see, it's just a static to-do list at the moment. So uh, a header and then some different kind of to-dos, but I feel like the problem is I wanted to make this more exciting. I thought, why not get the to-do list to tell me what to do? So if we go back to VS Code here, we need to find an API to tell us what to do. And for this, all I did was I searched up, what was it? Uh, board API. And essentially what this board API does is all you have to do is give it a call here and it will tell you what activity to do. Okay, so now I'm back in the project and I'm literally just going to make or this API call right in app.js. I might move it later, but right now I'm just feeling kind of lazy. And uh, to do that, I'm just going to make a fun function to fetch the data, so const fetch data. And we are going to return fetch and then the API, which let's go back to the API. Get it here. Then we are going to do response and get the response.json. And let's console log out the data to ensure we are getting the right data. Okay, and now we need to actually call this fetch, fetch data function here. I'm going to use in the built-in use effect method, which I already imported, uh, and just put it underneath here. So use effect, and this will essentially just call the function we just made. Let's see what's going on. React app. This is 
not what I wanted. What's going on here? Let's see. Okay, let's try this again. We can do this. And then also too, I was just reading that it takes a second uh, argument. So right now I'm just passing an empty array. Um, and then let's call the fetch data. Okay, let's give this a try and see if this works now. No, this is not what I want. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. There we go. Board API, this isn't what I want. Oh, because you know why? I need to put slash activity at the end of it. And now it's just a slash API. Let's see, this should bring up the activities. There we go. So right now the first activity is write a list of things you are grateful for, and then it will change every time on refresh. Memorize the 50 states and our capitals. Create a meal plan for the coming week. Start a collection. Make a simple musical instrument. So you can see it's pretty fun here. You're just uh, finding different activities to do. And while some of them might not be the most realistic ones, they're really fun to kind of let an API take over and control your life for a day. So let's start implementing this further. Okay, but I thought I'd make this a little bit more exciting. And whatever the API tells me to do, I'm gonna actually do it. October doesn't say to go to Mars or go to a concert or anything that's completely impossible for me, but I will find a way to do it. Okay, so I actually built onto it a little bit and I didn't record my screen, but I'm gonna take you through uh, what exactly I did. So as you can see here, I, I made a date, data API and a set data method, which I am using in my fetch data uh, function here. So data API, I put it in an array it doesn't really need to be in one. I'm being really lazy today. So if anyone has time and, and wants to like improve my code, please do so by clicking on the GitHub below and then doing a PR request and I'll uh, check that later. Uh, so anyway, so I did that. Then I put a heading here. This API is controlling my life. And essentially I'm just mapping over the data API or the data from the API and returning the activity. So let's go to here. And as you can see, Gorgeous, gorgeous to do list. Needs a lot of work still, but uh, anyways, if I refresh, every time I refresh, it'll be something different. So let's let it control my life. What should I do? I'm really nervous because I really don't want to do something new. Take your cat on a walk. Well, I don't have cats, so that's issue number one, but I can do it for my dogs. I'll take my dogs on a walk when I get home. Maybe that's what we could do. Let's do one more, let's see. Learn how to make an Alexa skill. That's kind of cool. Alexa skill tutorial. Okay, okay. I like this one. I feel like I should do this one. Lazy today. I don't want to do one. Um, okay, I'm gonna do it because I promised you I would. Actually, no, I'm not. Let's do one more. Let's see what else we got. Winter here. We can't play volleyball. Watch a movie you'd never usually watch. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Comment down below movies that I should watch, by the way. But I'm gonna think of one. I'm gonna call Paul actually after this and see what movie he thinks that I would never usually watch that I should watch. It just cannot be a horror movie. Those like keep me up at night. Okay, the other thing I wanna do is I got a notification that someone actually uh, did a PR request and contributed to this to-do app, which makes me so excited. So please go and check it out and do the same. Uh, as you can see on my screen here, they did some refactoring, custom hook for data man management and basic theming. Uh, so I'm gonna check out the code. Where do we go here? I'm really new to this whole open source contributing and working together. So please be patient with me and we will learn together. Uh, I It's bad to say, but I haven't been a huge contributor to open source pretty much at all. So I think this is a really great way for 
me to have a better understanding of the flow of it and then also to, if anyone else feels that way, to contribute to open source by doing this project together. So let's go files changed and you can see what they changed here. Thank you for deleting all those extra ones. And we did some theming, which is really nice. Oh my, it's awesome. Oh wow, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is amazing. Okay. And let's go over changes over here. Now if I want to approve it, merge pull request. Confirm merge. This is really exciting. Now into master. So if we go to IBS code here, let's pull. Oh, because I didn't push my changes first. Okay, so let's do. Okay, so I absolutely love the changes that this individual made. So thank you so much. If you're watching this, I, I hope you add more and contribute more to it. Um, so now I stashed my changes so I could see these changes now. So I'm going to um, not stash, unstash my changes and then push this up to GitHub. And yeah, I linked it down below. So make sure to go check it out. And I guess I need to, next on my list is go find a movie to watch that I wouldn't really watch typically. You're dirty and I like